brand tech here where tech is made simple. Microsoft is rolling out Windows 10 and 11 update KB4023057 again. And what this update does is basically improves the reliability of the Windows update service components. So it just improves the whole Windows 10 and 11 update on both of those operating systems. And this update started rolling out over the last 24 hours. Now you might have received it and you might have not yet received it. I know that Microsoft does stagger this update a bit. And if you'd like to see if you have the update in both Windows 10 and 11, just head to your settings menu. In Windows 11, that will be Windows Update. And in Windows 10, that'll be Update and Security. Now this is an automatic compulsory mandatory update. So it will be downloaded and installed automatically. And um, it's actually a very quick update. It takes a couple of seconds to uh, install and you don't have to restart your machine. And also just bear in mind with this, you cannot uninstall this update. There's no option to actually uninstall KB4023057. Uh, now, um, to see if you have the update, you can just head to Update History in both Windows 10 and 11. And here is the update. Update for Windows 11, KB4023057. Now, as mentioned, in both uh, operating systems, Microsoft does roll this out on a regular basis. And if we just go down here in my update history, you will see that it appeared uh, in November, 4023057, and then also another one, 4023057. So Microsoft does roll this out just to improve the uh, whole Windows update experience. Now, you will also notice if we just head back uh, into our settings and go to your apps, and then go to apps and features. What this update does is it installs a little tool, a very small tool on your system called Microsoft Update Tools, um, Health Tools, Microsoft Update Health Tools. As you can see, it was also installed today on the 18th of February, and it's only 1.04 megabytes in size, so it's very small. And this is part of uh, that update, KB4023057. And what this tool does, um, it may uh, do the following. It may try to reset your network settings if problems are detected. And it will clean up any registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. It also may try to repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components if it does detect any. And it also may compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates and it also may reset the windows update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from installing successfully so basically as mentioned uh, it just the update tries to improve the reliability of the windows service components on both windows 10 and 11 so you might have received the update already if not i'm sure you will be getting it uh, in the next while so just want to inform you KB4023057 is now rolling out for both Windows 10 and 11 once again. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.